great. <sighs> okay, so they can't hear us right now. You can hear us! <laughs> I don't know where we are. Like, I can't see start. Oh, there's, it says starting. Now, am I gonna have double the sound? I have to turn one of them off. I'm watching. Oh, I am muted. Okay, I want to see. I don't hear myself. Oh no, I hear myself on a major delay. Oh my god. Muted Twitch. There's three people.
Great start. Off to a really good start. Off to an excellent start. We're doing it. Oh no. We're doing it. Oh shit. I hear double people. Oh, mute the uh mute the stream. Oof. Done. How do I get it? There we go. Oh no. Wait. I figured this out before. <laughs> oh no. Don't worry, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the spark. This is a broken talk show hosted by me, C2, with my lovely co-host slash guest slash woman about town, Jess Tobacco, a good friend of mine. Hello. Me and this Jess. Severe delay. You're hearing a severe delay? Well, when I talk, I'm hearing you in real time. Yeah. But then I'm on the Twitch thing and it is, it is very behind. Oh, yeah. The Twitch is going to be behind. I don't think I should. Be, I don't think I should even look at it. I'm not. You even should going look. To. Oh, I'm looking. I'm gonna look at the Discord. Yeah, that's what I. I think officially that's what's gonna happen, and um, we'll check the thing for the chat every so often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the chat up because I have a thing that I can do. I love that I. The first thing that I did was disconnect from the call. That's the first thing that I did. Oh, I love it. Hello, Jess. Hi, my friend. How are you doing? Um, you know what? Honestly, I'm doing well. I, uh, I'm overwhelmed in oh, yeah. thought and energy at all times. <laughs> but <laughs> compared to other times, it's light. It's light and energy. That's good. Uh, That's good. What? So we were talking about, we were talking a little bit before we got on, because that's what we do. And we talked a little bit about what's going on in space right now. Astrology. It's the Scorpio. We're in Scorpio moon. Moon's in Scorpio? Yeah, full moon is in Scorpio, and it was also an eclipse. That's so. right. Oh, yeah, the, like, full moon blood eclipse. There was another thing that was eclipsed, wasn't there? I think or was like it just Uranus or yeah 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 I yeah. follow a guy called Red Robe Astrology on TikTok. Nice, and nice, I nice. Love him. He's a jolly. Uh, I think I man. know that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's also a psychologist, so he comes oh, from a nice. place like behavior and how it the planets affect it. And I just they always resonate, and uh, I just follow him. And and so whatever he said this morning, it sounded right. Six, 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 six. Red Robe Astrology. Yes. I'm going to type yes. it in. Red. Red. Is it all one word? I think so. Do we know? Red Robe Astrology. Sick. That moon. That moon. In Scorpio. Dude, it's doing major things to all of us. Oh, like, yeah. It is doing sincere. Okay, I have so many tabs open. I keep clicking to <laughs> Frasier, the last episode I was on. I guess I can close it. Codependency Anonymous meeting that I was trying to find. No uh, way! We were just talking about codependency! I know! And, and it is, like, sincerely on my mind in it a way is... that I'm like, I do need to face this. Codependency Anonymous. Maybe I should look yeah. into that. We are both, we did talk about, me and Jess both did talk about how um, we're pretty much on the opposite ends of the codependency issue. Uh... Jess is a giver and I'm a taker, I guess. In in codependency, although although there is like a there was something that I was reading and it was like instead of thinking about it as like giving and taking, you want to you want to start reframing it into like giving and receiving. Like you want to start reframing the way that you approach what it is to giving and receiving, not giving and taking. It can be taking, obviously. But, like, if you are on the end of somebody giving to you, you want to be in a receiving... Attitude. Attitude, yeah. Well, it's also hard if you have issues that make you believe... And and and, and th this is where it gets complicated, is sometimes your fears are true. There yeah. are people who are giving from a place of wanting to manipulate, wanting to have you in their debt, <laughs> wanting to have you some all your, yeah. your motive. However, that's not your problem. 
you, your your real thing is likely unworthiness or mm -hmm. fear of taking advantage because maybe you have in the past. And, uh, and it's just like, for me, I am a naturally, like part of my love language is to give. And as I listen to people, if I hear solutions and I could tell like someone's really overwhelmed and like just needs someone to come in and do this thing and it'd be a huge weight off, I have a mind that just thinks that way and then goes, oh yeah, I'll just do that. Yeah. Well, that's beautiful when I'm giving from a place authentically and I have something to give. But what's been happening for the last couple of years is I'm depleted and I'm giving from a place of, yeah. of I don't have anything actually to give. I'm giving you all the little bit of juice that I've saved up. The and cup then do I not run over. And the P is that fair to the people I love? Because no one wants to take uh, from a place that I don't have. So as someone said, I was watching this guy, Nish the Fish, is my Nish favorite fucking person. Nish the Fish! I gotta Nish follow Nish, Nish the Fish. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Where is Nish the, where is Nish yesterday? Well, you gave me the, the, the meditation thing. My whole on TikTok, okay? Tell me, it's on TikTok. How do you spell his yeah. name? N-I-S-H. N-I-S-H? Yeah, Nish the Fish. The? T-H-E? He's great. Huh? T-H-E? Yep. Nish. Fish. Okay. Sick. And he said, he's like, if you are letting somebody hurt you, you're, and, and there's someone you love, you're doing it because you want peace. You're doing it because you don't want to deal with the conflict. Yeah. You're actually letting them accrue negative karma. How loving is that? Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh! Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> You're actually letting them accrue negative karma. Oh, oh no. So that's also your negative karma too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like they people have lessons to learn, and like how how helpful is it if you're not letting them learn the lesson, even if like you already know it. Like they're not gonna learn it if you are doing their lesson for them. That's just them. It's just waiting that random core. Oh, random 100%. core. Also, hello Doom Wave. Hello Smokey. Hello Random Core. I got a lot of that better stop it. That bad, that, that negative karma. We got to clean out that negative karma. Yes. You clean, cleaning out the negative karma. Hey, girls. Hey. We are talking about, hey. so we're talking about, and this is something that I am really interested in, actually. I guess I'm always on some, I'm always on the same shit all the time. When I was like, what are you working on right now? It's like everything, always. Uh, working on, and working on, I also feel like working on is like a loose too because like working on is like yeah I'm like addressing this or yeah there is something that came up in this realm and like for me right now it is codependency I do have like a codependency vein that's like um I am the one I always feel like and that's and similar to you so then like you said like oh you feel what did you say you said like you could be receiving but then you can't really receive properly because you don't feel like you deserve it and what was yeah. what was the other one there was one other one uh, you've been a taker in the past uh, or taken advantage of people in the yeah, past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that you're doing that again. Mm -hmm. But it's yeah. not your job to, to solve for somebody else's thing. Just check and, in with yourself. And know and you when and that's say, happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Random course says. You know how, you know when that's happening because you know how it feels in your body. Like we were talking last week. Does it cause an ick or does it feel like an alignment? Like yes. you know that. Yeah. Condition. That's it. Random course says, I like your cacti. I'm paying attention even though I'm looking at it. That's what I was. That's the first Thank thing you. that I said. That's the first thing that I said. It's fake. It's, fake. it's, it's a good one. I like it a lot. But it is a family um, heirloom, I The call family it. cacti. It Hello, Mimi DB. Mimi DB. That's my sister. And she sister? knows. Yeah, the family cactus. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking Let's go. Fucking go. That's Mimi. What's up, Mimi? Yeah, she, yeah. You, 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 you've been in many discussions. Of, I, she's just my love. I love her so much. Me, me, DB. <laughs> um, um, yes, that yeah, is and, the, like, that is both of them. It's hard, too, because it's, like, I think the thing that gets really frustrating, um, at least for me, and I'm pretty sure it's similar for a lot of people, is 
when you decide like, okay, I've identified that I have these codependency issues. So I'm going to sit down this afternoon and, and be done with And it. solve and then, them all today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, meditation. No. I'm going to journal. I'm going to journal and then phew, I'm cured. And then, oh, fuck. Evidence by this like Scorpio moon energy. It's like, no, 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 no. Here's the opportunity for you to change course or not. And if you don't, that's fine. But ow. Ow, either way, it hurts you to change course. <laughs> yeah. It's ow either way. That that was a soothing balm to my soul, actually. You saying, it's ow either way. It's a painful time. Buckle up, uh, baby. One, one ow is a done. You're done with it, ow. Yeah. The other ow is a prolonged one. Like, it just keeps reoccurring. Yeah. So it's like, for and when you brought that up, as you were saying, like, codependency came up, it's odd because it came up. I didn't even know I had codependency issues until this summer. And I didn't realize how much I actually do. The things I'm working on are, um, when you put it like that, it's it clicked that I'm like, yeah. oh, I am working on things. Yeah. And it's how much I do out of guilt, out as opposed to authentic want. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, they're going to be mad at me, or they think I should, or they yeah. expect me to, or if I don't, they'll be fucked, and, and, and I don't know how to help them. They need help. And if I say no, I'm, in fact, participating in their hurt in some way. And yeah. yeah, I need to. Random course says I need to tell people to frick off more. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you, Jess? Me? Do you need to tell people to frick off more? Anger, you know for example. Yeah, yeah. Wait, let me. Mm -hmm. Anger, for example. I'm so empathetic that I'll be like, it hurts you to be mad. We should just talk about it. Being mad won't help. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You gotta let them, and you gotta let them be mad because like. I find, and this could be wrong, I think this a lot, and this, I could be wrong about this, and I'll find this out fucking later in another fucking lesson sometime, but, like, I honestly do feel that pretty much about 90% of the time when I'm upset, it's because of something that I did, and now I'm in a situation, and I did this, and now I'm really Damn. mad that I did this. And it's nobody's fault. And and I also feel like a lot of the things that are so upsetting are like, it's not really anybody's fault. Like, most things are not somebody's fault. Somebody did something and now it's their fault. It's like, this is just what's happening and now I'm upset about it. And I can see all the ways that I, I participated. And I'm, like, upset that I even got to this point. And now, but now I'm, like, fucking mad. I'm now mad. Like, it's to the point where I put myself in this and now I'm mad. Fuck. It's so amazing how many 10,000 things came to my brain that I'm like, ah, what is that? Like, it's just like unreal. But it's like my friend Sue Lin, who I love, is uh, she showed me a chart that was like an emotion chart in terms of like a hierarchy almost. And it, it's like, um, <clears throat> like, if you're displaying anger, anger is an easier emotion to display than guilt. Yeah. Than shame. Sadness, than all these shame. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an umbrella emotion, especially for cis men or just, you know, masculine uh, forward energies. It's it's easier to display anger than just about almost any emotion beyond sadness oh, yeah. or happiness. Oh, yeah. It's like you can't. So there's that. And then uh, two, it's like. When what I'm realizing, especially within like we talk about it a lot. I don't know if my cousin's in here. I know she was saying she was going to join, but in our family dynamic, we're living with a bunch of family again. And what we're realizing is that in our family dynamic, at least it's very, um, a well-paved path for us to assign blame. If it, because I think one deep down, there's a fear that it's our fault. So, how, so who can we pin it on? So it's not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then B let's say, Let's say there is an instance where something someone's at fault. What does it matter? It's still here. Like the game of trying to absolve yourself from blame and putting assigning blame on somebody else is wasted energy because it doesn't matter. It just it happened. So now what? How can we observe it from a place having that blame doesn't allow you to actually look at it yeah. from a perspective of like curiosity. It's it's from a perspective of defensiveness. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And there's also like, and something else that, um, is, is, I don't want to say it's a hassle, but something else that like, in the, like, 
ideally you would like be like, okay, now we have this problem. How do we fix it? But then like people are still going to be feeling feelings. So it's like, okay, well now I have to like, and I get so like annoyed that I'm like, well now I have to like feel all my feelings for however long I feel them. Yes. And then like make, listen to what they're telling me. And then I can be like, okay, now that I felt all my feelings and I can hear what they're telling me. Now I can do a thing. But like, and I feel like that's also like, doesn't always match up where it's like, someone wants to resolve it. And it's like, I will, I want to, but I have to wait. And until I'm done with whatever is running through my body. And it takes a lot of strength um, on, on, on both parties part, but if you can't control the other party, but you can control yourself. So just, it takes a lot of personal strength to be able to go, not only am I trying to make space for my own emotions to flow, which by the way, is not on an acceptable timeline for us. It's again, it's not, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to journal and I'm done. I let the emotion flow and now I'm good. Or I had one good cry and I'm over it. And it's yeah. like sometimes, but for the most part, you really genuinely, like the, uh, this guy, Josh Connolly, I follow. I love Instagram. Josh Connolly. Uh, <laughs> you told me Josh Connolly. Connolly. <laughs> He said, the trick is not, like, if you're feeling sadness, the trick is not to say, I'm sad. How do I make myself not feel sad? It's, how do I create space for me to be properly sad? Mm. Same way that you wouldn't rush your joy yeah. or rush whatever else. And then, like, uh, and then what I was getting at is, the re- that takes a lot of strength for you and your own emotions. It takes even more strength for the person you're involved with to create that space for them to have their emotions. And it really takes a lot of internal questioning. What are my motives here? Do I want this resolved and I want them done with this so that we can move on? Or do I want, uh, like, am I going at this because I just want this to be over? Or am I going at this because I'm authentically called to talk about this with them now? Yeah. And it is minute in feeling. That's what we call nuance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, and then, and then both, both things can be, true but then it's like what are you each one affects your timeline and each one affects how you're gonna move forward and I think that's great that's a good mm, that's delicious nuance I like that delicious nuance delicious nuance Brandon Brandon Core says perception is reality and most people's aren't the same that I think is the most important thing about communication yeah and the seeking to understand which is like can be hard when you feel when you feel so sure about how you feel but in order to like get on the same page or get to a place where you can move forward then you then you want to like what is it like a miscommunication is like you want to understand somebody else not that you want to be heard like yeah which you really can't be at that place until you understand yourself because until you understand yourself you're actually looking to others to tell you who you are and validate who you are so that you feel that that's true and you don't even have room in your spirit to hear someone else while you're desperately trying to get them to tell you who you are which is not an outward thing we know we're doing it's just subconscious yeah but also uh random or three i oh random uh, core Random core. Random right, core. Great. That's random core. You know, and, and that's the thing where it's like, but also I should be like, you don't talk to me like that. Snap, snap, snap. I love that. And I yeah. think it's a beautiful boundary. And I think what's important and the way that that can be successfully carried out is remembering that you literally cannot control somebody else's actions. You yeah. can't get somebody to stop talking to you that way. But you can change what you do when someone's talking to you that, that way. You either leave, you either say, hey this is not acceptable. It happens again. I am give a boundary that you will then do and yeah. then you follow through on it. You probably know, I don't know you. So, or do <laughs> I? I no, you don't handles. know. Random core is one of mine. So yeah. Um, I just, th- I just wanted to throw that in because I think that is something that I didn't discover until late. I think it's something we're all struggling to discover as we're navigating boundary setting for really the first time as a human society yeah yeah well and then that's the other thing that i think about too do you ever think about how fucking wild it is that like 
we didn't know about any of this shit like 10 years ago and now we're all like all right we better be fucking perfect at it because we gotta heal the world like (laughs) and it's like uh i have a little shitty brain like my brain is (laughs) made of garbage like there are times when i'm like oh no no wonder i acted that way like my i literally only start like i only started trying to like heal my all of my the 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 base you know the what is it what would you call it the starter deck trauma that you get from being an adult you realize one day you're an core adult classes. the core class tw- of trauma it was like 24 i was like 24 years old so about that time you're kind of like i'm not alone i'm a little fucked up and you either decide like and it keeps co- it'll keep co- and you'll keep having that thought also like i but there was the first time i had the thought and i was like there's got to be a better way to exist like i was like this can't be the way i know that other people walk around and they're happy and i know it i see them there's got to be a better way so then you start you know and then i went to therapy and then i did the things and so i've been doing that now how long is it what's 24 24 it's like eight years yeah eight years about that i've been doing so from 24 i'm 32 now it's about eight years so start there. And then it was only recently, recently within the past two years that I was like, ah, the universe will help me. I will I will realize <laughs> the oneness from everyone and then I'll be perfect. Um, uh. And I'm perfect now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, yeah, and that's why we're here. We made it. We're perfect. And we've made and it. We're here to um, talk to you about it. But we're really not. But oh, oh so, it's so funny how, how little I know. I love it. Um, yeah. But no, my fa- it's, it is my favorite thing to talk about. about. It is my favorite thing to talk about is like, how are you feeling and how are we connecting to everyone and how can we do it better? And I'm sorry that I'm my, my little garbage brain is my little garbage brain. Well, you know, and I think that, that we've gone to such extremes in how we handle it, that it's like the pendulum swung one way, which is don't be a pussy to <laughs> the pen- pendulum swung the other way, which is you said something off and you're, you're canceled, which, you know, I get, I'm not trying to. Start we don't have, we actually culture. don't have to get into cancel culture if we don't want to <laughs> we literally don't we don't, don't have time actually uh <laughs> those, are the those are the spectrum examples i could think of yeah, in this yeah, exact yeah. moment okay but and then now we're coming to this place of like okay not only are we making room for um us to discover where we've been wronged but we're making room where we have wronged you know where we have done yes like, something that was out of alignment for yeah us and caused harm you know and, and i think that you know you and i have probably talked about this but it's like even in my own high school experience which i'm i almost said two years older than you i'm four years older than you uh, i just realized also just like time's it. not real <laughs> i'm not real however but in the but i know in, what you mean in, in the frame of you're like, a great old you're you're a whole high school because, generation so yeah yeah so i don't know if this is the same for you but for me at least in my high school experience it was like oh yeah you know um you know becky she's in therapy you know oh yeah. Like, hey. yeah 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 well uh now we're all in therapy yeah now we're all in therapy what a random question that's major i think my trauma helped build me into a person in a good in into the person in a good way mostly I do need to work on some issues I have like following through my boundaries I said I'm getting better all the time yeah it is hard it is hard that's and that's what I'm realizing too uh not realizing but that's what I run into too is like following through like and you like learn all these like great habits and then you like don't stop doing them even though it like helped you you don't and we and you were just talking about this it's like why don't aren't I doing the thing why aren't I doing the things I know the thing I know exactly what to do. Why am I doing it? And then sometimes I wonder if that's like, you just have to kind of make that spicy for yourself. Like you kind of have to like maybe change the way you do it or change the form of what you're doing or like, I don't know. Yeah. I, you know, I, it's really hard. Cause I was just thinking about that recently where like when I hit my initial like perspective shift that could be called a psychotic break, could be called an, a spiritual awakening, could both. be called whatever the fuck both all of it i don't know it was an event that absolutely changed my life and changed my perspective forever when that happened i experienced a level of bliss that was unlike anything i'd ever felt in my life and and exactly and and i remember and i've told you carly that i exclaimed oh my god this is heaven and we've been in a hell of our own making the whole time like what the fuck and i was like the cosmic joke I literally that's the joke and i literally said it's so easy 
And then I've been spending the la- last chasing that. Because <laughs> you're like, no! going, how was it easy, you asshole? And then it's like, okay, I try to remember, like, I am now on this healing journey that I'm trying to nail and get perfect, which in and of itself is like holding me back because yeah. I think that there's a way to get it right or wrong. Yeah. And that is the thing that I am clearly clinging to and it is preventing me from feeling enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And feeling, because it's like, I was very unhealed comparatively at that moment, yet I experienced such bliss and wholeness and oneness and, and feeling I do have a story about that. Perfect. But continue. Yes. Oh, yeah. I, 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 yeah, please. Uh, so, but ultimately, so it's like, why can't I feel enough now? And I think it's because we know more and we're striving for this level. And I do think it's important that we're striving for that level. But I'm going to just show you real fast before you yeah, make yeah. your theory, which I can't wait. Um, I painted this for my psychiatrist because she yeah, was like, yeah. uh, I told her about it. I've Googled the opposite of perfectionism and found out that the literal opposite of perfectionism is, is fucking flow. Living no. and going with the flow. So I painted, I don't even know which one's together. That's what the I internet says is the opposite of perfectionism? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't We're doing it. We're doing gracious? it. We're doing it. That is infuriatingly gracious. That's the perfect way yeah. to describe that. That is infuriatingly yeah. gracious. I love what? I love Punish everything. Me. <laughs> Punish yeah. me. I wrote this thing called endurance and it was about how I felt like I was put on this earth to endure things that others can't. That's another thing. Well, so my theory. Whoa. So first, my theory is that you get that when you have like your awakening, whatever it is, you have your like gong. It feels like you were fucking woken up out of a dream and you're like and I feel like I've been woken up out of like multiple dreams like I always like there's like when you learn about like when you grad when you basically when you get out of like public school if you went to public school and then you learn about racism you're like what and then like you learn about like queerness and you're like what and then there's all these things where you like feel like you're being woken up out of several nightmares and then you're like no and then so and then when you have your like awakening of like oh I'm like I'm one with everything and we're all part of one cosmic consciousness or whatever and whatever it is for like every like everybody I don't have a dogma, so it's whatever. If you've ever felt like, wow, we're all connected, then, like, congratulations, you did the thing. And, like, when you have that, though, and you feel this, like, insane euphoria, which is, like, I feel like that is both, like, our birthright. Like, we have, like, we can't, you can't access that. And I've accessed it briefly after that, after that prolonged period of feeling it. For sure, I've accessed it without drugs without drugs. Uh, but then also I think it's there so that you know that it's real kind of like, but then after you come down and I'm sure you've, you experience this a lot is that people try to tell you that that's not real, that what you felt was not real. Oh my God. Only and I'm sure. The extent that, uh, even I believe it, you know, where it's like, I, because it's like, I don't clearly because I'm still following this fucking yeah you found i'm fine love. i'm going love for that ra- I'm, I'm fucking fu- finding the rabbit man <laughs> that love rabbit yeah, I am. i'm going when i go through different rabbit holes where i'll like go down and be like i need to understand everything about the illuminati <laughs> I need to <laughs> i'm sorry i completely understand that oh my god the moon's not real no uh, yeah i'm like right. and, no, I'm like, yeah. and, and, who, and i'm just like who boo, else boo, 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 boo. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's like, guess what I can't yeah. know that. I can't know that. I literally can't. So what am I doing? And it is, in fact, a distraction for yeah. me looking inward. Mm-hmm. And what is difficult is I have, unlike you, with my experience, I got a bipolar diagnosis. Yeah. And with my um it matched. If you Google everything that happened to me or talk to any psychiatrist or doctor, everything that happened to me is textbook bipolar manic episode. It's also textbook Kundalini awakening. Yeah, I was going to say, that doesn't mean it also wasn't. Right. Yeah. Where it's, where it's scary personally and for my loved ones is what I did was dangerous. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, that doesn't mean much to someone who doesn't fear anything, including death. What I did at the time, you know, what a free fucking feeling. But I, you know, I talked to like, um, I talked to a lot of people who have a bipolar diagnosis and it has been incredibly destructive to their lives. Yeah. In some cases people have died. Um, 
because of what their impulses were telling them and stuff. And and so it's very tricky. And what I've come to recently is just, I got to go to um, a Reiki uh, person. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, in Tahoe, which is near where I live. And I, uh, she said I was really in crisis. I was just like, I just don't, can't even trust my own brain. I can't trust my thoughts. I don't know what's real. And I want to believe this is real because it feels so good. But am I just convincing myself? I don't know. Like I was in just such like a thing. A loop. And she's like, what she said was, you're just leaning so heavily on your brain intelligence. You're not relying at all on your heart, your gut, your your core intel. Like your your whole body has yeah. intelligence. And so I've been trying to, not like because I want to be ignorant, but because I'm acknowledging that I can't know for sure, and just get back into feelings, get back into sensations in my body. Where am I feeling it in my body? Does it feel frantic or does it feel grounded? Does yeah. it feel like like it's coming from a place of like wisdom and care and love, or is it coming from a place of fear and anxiety and wanting to avoid my current moment? And I think that mm. that probably doesn't make sense. Anything that I said, but um, no, that makes no, that does make sense. That's because we <laughs> the thing about you know. And I'm not an f- expert, but like I and I'm not that's not why we're having this conversation, obviously. But it's so the thing about it is that like we're we belong to systems that train us to ignore our bodies and to ignore things that are innate with our be- like kids know kids know stuff. Yeah. Like kids know even stuff. Even if they weren't, if it, even if that wasn't their deliberate goal, how could you have time when you're working all of the time and having to take care of kids and worrying about food security and all that stuff, even if that's not their deliberate goal, it is the outcome. Yeah. And I think it's their deliberate goal. And it's like, and there's programs and there's agendas and there's whatever, like every, every, like, and that's not even like, ooh, spooky conspiracy theories. That's like, yeah, there are like other governments have things they want to do. And these other governments want to do stuff too. Like that's like how collectives of things work. But then when you're, when you think about it as like, we're, the idea is like that we're cogs in that it becomes like, okay, well, I don't, you know, I want to also listen because you can participate in because we are in a 3D reality. And this is we came, you know, we exist in a 3D reality for a, we, a reason, whatever that reason is. That's none of my business. I don't know. And it I just can guess. is people regardless. guess they've been guessing forever and they've been guessing. Right. And I'm sure there's people who get who got a gist of it better than me. That's great. Cause they study. Uh, and I've, and I've heard some pretty convincing reasons, but regardless of the reason, this is where we are, but we do have, like, I just feel like we have, like, we do have really basic tools right here, but it's so hard to they like, are, it's the only thing that you can know. And we don't even have language to describe it. Yeah. And it's, and I think getting comfortable with paradox is also a thing because it's like, I don't know anything, but I do know what I know. Like I, the unknown is unknowable. That's the, why it's the unknown, right? Like, I'm not going to tell you what happens when you die because that's not my job, but I can tell you when I don't like that thing. My, when my heart tells me I have to tell you something, when my body is feeling unsafe, when my body needs, like we do know that stuff. So it's the paradox of being like, I don't know everything and I'm not going to be like, "Mm, this is this and this is this. And I think we have and I'm like this, too. I've been programmed to like need to be able to tell you why. And it's like I can't like literally nobody knows everything. Right. Or most things. But I can tell you the chunk, the little chunk that is personal to me. It's also like goes back to that uh i think that i noticed that one i think that people who are in the margins uh in general have to uh fight the urge to over explain and justify why they're doing something yes. and embracing the like no is a complete sentence or i'm doing this doing it without the thing and that's very difficult to imagine one is a woman two is someone with adhd who my actions have very rarely made sense to people and so i'm constantly yeah and then why do i care like why 
more importantly, what is it in me that is hoping to gain out of that external validation from somebody saying, oh, I get what you're saying and yeah. this is where you're coming from. So now go forth and whatever. And it, and it speaks to the mistrust I have with even my own uh, self. Yeah. Random course said, with my parents, I was able to forgive them when I look at their past and what knowledge they had. I do believe they did the best they could. My sister is bipolar. I think that helps me understand different too. She put in the work and I'm so proud of her. She was explaining to me something called gray thinking. One of her triggers was understanding two things can be true at the same time. This is something I thought was basic knowledge and it really helped me understand her more. That is also something that I uh, not, not struggle with, but something that I, I accept that and I think that can complicate my position with other people's I don't want to say frequently but like a lot of the time is that I can not that I'm special but like I I will have these I I will try and participate in like a conversation or like or like a dialogue or like when I'm trying to like level with somebody but like I I had don't have a lot of black and white thinking as much as I used to way in the past so it can I I understand that sometimes like it can sound like I understand how I sound like where it's like, okay, well, what's your position? And it's like, I mean, on a quantum level, I'm everywhere. So <laughs> like, it depends on what your, what your perception is. Sorry. Yeah. I do think like one, I relate to that uh, a lot. What random course said, like I um, really struggled with it and I'm getting better and better by the day. And it is definitely something that if I were to look back and uh, reflect on all of my belief systems uh, down to um, believing in Santa, like it fucked me up, you know, like, and then, and then, and then I was Catholic. Why? Cause they said so. Like I didn't really have, cause that was, Oh yeah. Things. Well, you don't get to choose. Who's choosing? I didn't, to, nobody's I choosing to be just Catholic. Like, okay, I just, am. I just am. Yeah, and then and even like politically, like I thought I was Republican because my parents were Republican. Wow, and really? Then, they, yeah, but they lived real liberal lives. But they oh were like, yeah, we didn't know anything beyond Bill Clinton had an affair, and that is not okay. No, so, and it's like so okay, now that's we're Republican. <laughs> and that's then wild. I remember having a teacher in high school that was like, "Jess, what? You're a Republican?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he was like, what's your opinion on this, 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 this? And I was you're like, not a Republican. This, 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 this. and he goes, yeah, you're not. And I was like, affronted, you know? And so yeah. then I was like, well, now I need to tell everybody about de de being a Democrat because that's me now. And then it was like, oh, wait, now I see that all parties uh, have their issues and this is a distraction too. And I don't even believe in this system. And, and now I need to tell everyone about that. And it's like, I think yeah. that the lessons, if I look over them, have been showing me to leading me to accept that the paradoxes, like you said, Carly, in the gray area, like you said, um, random core, because it's like that has been a really difficult thing for me. I'm like, no, but what is it? I need to know it. But w what is it then? Yeah. If it's not this, then mm -hmm. what is it? And it's like l trying to even just me starting to loosen my grip. I'm breathing easier. Yeah. And in moments where I grasp it, it's the best. But it's it's very very slow, and I'm just kind of embracing that. The, uh, one of the metaphor, I try to keep the metaphors fresh, but you know, they, they come and go through the mind, but like one of the metaphors is like, you know, what is, well, the <laughs> Ram Dass, Ram Dass, uh, was like, hold on tightly, let go lightly. Um, but also the metaphor of like, you can't like when you try to, so like with a butterfly, right? Like if you have your hands out and a butterfly lands in your hand, you're not going to you're not going to close your hand because you're going to crush the butterfly, but you can still have the butterfly in your hand, but you have to leave your hand open so that, cause it, so that it can be there for when it's there and then it can go. Cause that's what it does. I love that. The more, and, but okay, the image of see. like, yeah, like the more the image of like, you can have it, but you can't grasp it because as soon as you grasp it, you crush it, which is like, yeah. Oh, like, and even like, even like, oh, the like, the heartbreak of impermanence, like, which is like, the, <laughs> the theme of our existence is we're going to die one day. Like, literally, that's like, welcome to the show. Oh, yeah. You're going to die. Like, it's literally like, 
that's our theme. Like, that's what we like to talk about. And that's what we're obsessed with is death. Like, that's because we we know, we all know what's going to happen. It's the biggest thing that happens to any of us, to us in our life. Like, it's like the thing that we fucking care about is dying and other people die. Like, and it's like, it's like, but like, everything is that. Everything is that. The cycle, the huge cycle that we're on, which is like you're born and you learn and a la la and then you die. And then you're born and you learn and all that is we just keep experiencing that in little cycles. So like the best thing you can do, unfortunately, is like literally just be like, here I go. Do, 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 do. And then be sad when it's time. <laughs> be sad when it's time to be sad. And I, oh, another thing that helps me is like, I think I wrote that I like channeled this once and I was like writing, but it was basically like your time to be upset will come. Like you don't have to be upset. You know how much I pulled that up? I could quote you. Is that the one? Quote my my thing. You don't understand. I've read it to others and I'm like, you protect me. I love you. uh, uh, It was um, just because it's not, just because you're not suffering right now doesn't mean that it won't be your turn and other people's suffering are not only uh, not your yours to fix or something. It's none of your business. And it was like, oh, it's like it's. Just oh, you'll not get your, your turn. turn right now. You'll get yeah. your turn. That's the name of the game, and, baby. And I keep pulling this example, and I know I've probably said it to you. Definitely is. Uh, I know that if everyone who loved me, um, which I am blessed with a lot of people and, and who support and love, same. And want honestly, best for me, same. Truly, right? Yeah. If, they, if every single person, even my most, like, you know, spiritual, whatever, go with the flow, knew that I was facing, uh, it knew what would have happened to me during my awakening, which, by the way, was me getting arrested and then put in a mental hospital because I protested naked because we're all one and, like, duh. Uh, and it's time <laughs> to get naked. And also, that's actually, I th- I do think that that's funny because, like, a tons of people have protested naked. Like, that's, like, a thing that people yeah, do. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, totally. Like, and I think and you, I- you caught the buzz. Like, you were like, this is what we do. Like... I was like, I'm done. I'm not on any side. This is it. This is ridiculous. They're pitting us against each other on purpose for profit. Anyway, regardless, all I'm saying is, in a nutshell, if everyone knew that I was heading towards a really heartbreaking experience and coming back to reality uh, process, everyone who loved me would have done anything in their power to stop me from having that occurrence. Yeah. And that's understandable because I do the same thing. If I see inevitable pain up the road for a friend or a loved one, I try to intervene because I don't want them to hurt. But that hurt that I personally went through was the catalyst that changed and saved my life. I was going down a road that was, I was dividing from myself. Yeah. And I was cementing this persona more and more. And I was so Mm -hmm. unsatisfied in it. It it was just like a, yeah. And then, and then it's still like critical mass. So, uh, so to go back to your point is like, you don't know what someone's suffering is leading them to and what catalyst mm-hmm. moment it is. It actually needs to get worse, worse than you even imagine uh. and, and how to stand by. And that goes back to my codependency shit of I'm just like, I feel like because I could have done something and I didn't do something, I'm at fault. Ego. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, and then there's like, and then there's like the thing you learn the thing you learn when you're on the other side of that where it's like oh my god this is all my fault fuck <laughs> like you're like holy shit and i'm responsible I'm that end. yeah <laughs> and it ne- and that never and right like that never ends like that's always like oh shit i really fucked up uh a star yep. said uh i think once you strip your ego and let yourself drop the guard and listen ask first defend attack you really open yourself up to learning more and getting out of your bubble comfort zone in terms of politics imagine if we just listen and had discussions instead of fight and attack Ooh. yeah i think and I think, and I'll say in oh, my, this now. is like a bleak opinion, but f- with politics, it's like, it's designed to be what it is. Like, it's not, it would be cool if we got to have governing bodies that were tr- actually trying to do something, like they were actually trying to like, you know, ascend human consciousness. Nice. This is like a relatively, it's not a new concept because they've been trying to do this. They fucking tried, been trying to do this since ancient India, but like, it's not a new concept. It's an ancient concept actually, but <laughs> Like, that's not what they're for. Like, they, like, if they really wanted to, they would. They're not doing it. That's not what they're designed to. Oh, and, like, 
Oh, just the idea. And this is like, I think this is another reason why, like, when some things, things are too cynical, I'm like, I already know. I don't need, I need nice stuff because I already know that, like, even just knowing, like, that, like, all the shit that we engage in is distraction on purpose. And it's like, when you, like, think about, like, oh, I'm looking at my phone and that's giving energy, that's giving a bunch of my energy and time to something, to, like, other things that are, want it. And they all, all of it, everything wants it. And, like, where your attention goes, energy flows is the saying. And it's like, oh, the crushing reality of well, some of the things that bring me joy are also ruining my life um <laughs> yeah i know well and it's like i i mean and carly and i again i i'm pretty sure we've talked about this but oh. it's like i'm living back i was living in chicago in an echo chamber of people who were like-minded and agreed with me in a lot of ways and now i'm back in nevada which if you watched anything on the news is very red you know and and now i'm having conversations with people who trigger me a lot you know and it's like getting the opportunity to find our common humanity and see that we're really all saying the same things. It's just, we're so conditioned in parroting whatever news media oh, you consume. Yeah. It's like, you know, you find one person, one person on this earth who's stoked about gas prices, who's stoked that we're in debt over uh, medical bills or that we need to get an insurance company's per, uh, permission of what kind of treatment we get. And if they say no, then you're fucked. Uh, tell, find me one person who's good with the fact that we have educators everywhere and you need to go into crippling debt to access an education. You know, what? There's, there's so many things that it's like we are being divided on these issues that yeah, have been weaponized for all of And then time, when you really. think about that too, like, and it's funny because like when I think about, I had to train myself for when somebody brings up an issue and I still fall into old patterns of like, what about this other thing? Like, but when you would say that somebody would be like, well, what about this other thing that you're not talking about that I'm upset about? And it's like, I'm Definitely. literally not talking about that. We can talk about that next. Right and after, that's a tactic. and that's, and that's, but that's also a tactic on the left. It's both. They both do it. Oh, absolutely. And I like, and, and it, like, oh, what are, you're saying what I did. No, you did. No, you no, were saying, you were just saying, oh, all these things. Okay, like, do don't we I, all, like, I don't do. we all agree on this? But it's like both sides do it. Both sides start fighting with, with someone. So the left, the right. only thing about the left is that the left fights with each other be a bunch of people that are on our side we're all fighting what we all want the same thing don't we but no but then but then it's like well don't we all want the same thing and it's like well i don't think ultimately we do i don't we think i think we think we all want the same thing but because we're all different we don't we don't all want the same thing and there are people who do want to fight they want to fucking fight yeah. and if they want to fight they're gonna yeah that's the thing is the only thing the only instances where i've had success is by literally being like what are we talking about i think i told you about the woman whose house i went to in um and it and she what dropped a bomb on about? me and my cousin or she like she lured us in you know with like brownies and she's the sweet like older woman who we were <laughs> i can't go into too many more details but essentially she was very nice yeah time. we sit down to eat these brownies and then all of a sudden pew 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 like just like can't you believe fuck mexicans and fuck all these things and you're just like oh no like, i'm, I'm, eating, I'm eating, eating these brownies <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like i hadn't and this was the summer i hadn't been that triggered and it was just like huh, 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 like and in the past i'd work in, i'd worked in bars i've worked in comedy and i would fight so i'm now, oh yeah I'm now challenging all my conditioning and going Okay, and then I'd be like, well, what about, like, corporate? And I'm trying to find this common ground, and I'm trying to be like, what are we even talking about? Oh, my God. And I finally got us, and the thing was, she was like, she said towards the end, which, by the way, it was very, very long. But towards the end, she said, uh, well, it's the end of days. It was even in the Bible. And I said, I said, okay, so you believe it's the end of days. 
she says, I don't believe it. I know it. And I said, great. So it's the end of days. Who are you going to listen to? Are you going to listen to Biden? Are you going to listen to Trump? Or are you going to listen to God? Like, what are you going to listen to for real? Like, and where does that come from? How do you know? And I was like, how does it feel to have that much hatred in your heart? The only reason I say this is because I know how much hatred I had in my heart. And like coursing through your body. Like, I know it It too. Me too. It's like fucking the, you know, you know, Spider-Man Venom. You know, fucking, yeah. it's like, blah, blah, blah. it's like fucking like it, like, and it, and it like is an entity that like takes over your body. It makes you say shit that you don't even fucking, and I, and it's a program because I've had conversations where like with my mom, you know, parents will trigger yeah. you with their political shit. And like, you know, I've had conversations and I remember we got into a fucking screaming, yelling fight about cops. And I was like, what the fuck was happening there? Like, I, like, I went to my room and I was like, I gotta come down. Like, this is fucked up. And I'm in my room and I'm just like, what the fuck was that? Like, I was like, I don't even care. Like, like, I care about, you know, I care. But, like, to ha- to ge- to have a conversation like that, insanely. So to everybody. But especially be screaming, selfish, yelling to yourself. And that's the thing is I'm realizing I talked about it with my friend Kendra. I was like, this was us, wasn't it? And it's like, no, because she and I, uh, we'll dig in, man. We dig into the. Let's have Kendra on. <laughs> oh, we should have Kendra. We, we should have Kendra, Kendra on. We love Kendra. Um, But yeah, so she, so we, it, that's the thing is it's like, if you just remember like how you're feeling at all times, that's what it all goes down to. And how Bringing does that Bringing it back feel? to center. That's yeah, why we meditate it, so we can come back and be like, what the fuck is happening here? Yes. I don't know. I need we to ask my body. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And, and so I don't mean to be naive, but I do have a lot of faith of it changing because all I'm witnessing I'm is not, people putting If that's in- naive, I gotta be, dude. Fuck. Right? I because can't. I'm like, dude, look at this labor that everyone's putting in and how bravely they're like voicing their truths in a way that has never happened. Like, remember when MySpace or Facebook even first came out? MySpace. And we used to be like, we used to talk shit. Like, ugh, they post a selfie. Like, they Remember when you were like, Like, posting a selfie was like, lame? Yeah. And you were the worst? Now I'm like, I would love yourself. Give me more of yourself. More selfie. What's going on? Like, people, people posting and... And, and honestly sharing their, like, processes of death, like, people with terminal illness, like, documenting it and showcasing yeah. it every day is, like, wow, are we lifting a lot of veils? We are. And I think the thing, and because we're lifting so many, and it is it is information overload in our bodies and our minds are not, like, we're just not used to it yet. We're not, we're trying to, like, develop uh, an yes. ability to do that. But, like, the connection is so much more than ever. But we feel... But because there's also other things wanting our attention, we feel disconnected. And it is our responsibility to, like, like selectively give our attention to selectively. Which is, like, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> but, like, 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 I'm like, oh, come on. Why can't I just stare at my screen for eight hours and feel complete? Like, it's like, okay, you can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Hannah said, I actually met up with some old high school friends today and we were talking about how you always tend to have different political opinions to your parents on everything, every time, but a lot of people I, a lot of people I know, there's usually different opinions going on there. And Random Core said, I watch the most far thing from what I try, what I think and try to focus on fact and not feelings. And that's the only way I can do anything with political information or I'll black out. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Even just like, even if I can focus on just like what has been, you know, corroborated. But I honestly don't, like, I used to be really political, and that was an, uh, an, uh, a miserable existence. So I have since, yeah. uh, I since don't imbibe in a lot of political information. Um, yeah. Nothing more than what I would have to responsibly as, like, a citizen of the United States. It is something that still conflicts me, though. Like, it is something that, like... Right now, I mean, I am just, like, someone who believes, here's some contradictory beliefs, where it's, like, I believe that our activism does have effect in all of these things, and then for me, again, to not engage, like, I used to be Mrs. Political Poster, like, I was, yeah, same, but, like, you know, I was a program. 
Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. I saw your posts. We're friends. Yeah, they were violent. And so, and I was like, I was like everywhere, all over the place, caring about every issue. And I meant it, but it was also coming from a, you know, eh, I honestly wouldn't put this much like negativity on it, but I won't deny that this aspect was there of being um, holier than thou. You know, I'm on the right side. Why aren't you on the right oh, side? Oh, for me you too. Know? For and, sure. For me too. Yeah. 100%. And then it was also because I genuinely cared and I wanted to change and I knew that potentially we could hit a common ground and yeah. I didn't know how to do it and I was trying. Um, <clears throat> but regardless, like right now what's going on in Iran, like I am so proud of the protesters. I am so yeah, yes, in, like, yeah honored to witness it and then devastated it like there's i think i and i and even right now i don't know what's what what i saw that was real or not but like fourteen thousand of them are have been sentenced to death or something and i'm just like oh my gosh you know and it's like where where at what point like i just keep getting like don't like i'm not posting but i i feel like part of me Part of the problem I have that I'm not posting is one, I, I'm wondering if I'm being complacent or not being of service when I have the ability to. And then two, maybe it's actually the biggest conflict is part of my persona I'm letting die. And mm. I don't like that. But it's very conflicting. I just still, like, I also don't engage in politics, but I do still go, should I be? You know, like, I don't know. And I think when it's should, when it's a should, that's something that that's like, for who? For who Mm. are you doing this? Because everybody has a different job. Like, everybody has a different thing. Yeah, exactly. And there are people. Is it my job? Yeah. Well, and you, and then here we go. We go into our body and we ask, hello, is this my job? No, and I don't either. Because I like, I'm like oh, I feel guilt for being a piece of trash. And it's like, why do you think you're a piece of trash? Well, let's examine, (laughs) you know, like, it's like, oh, I'm, you know, I feel. And it's also, I think it's really hard for people who are really political specifically to believe that other things are valuable. There is other work that we do as human beings that is valuable. There, like, there are teachers and pastors and coaches and people who have followings who they are raising their consciousness there are people who are taking care of other people and they're not political people and they may even have like bad politics but like there are like there are like essential human things that we do in in whatever pursuit we're pursuing that are is valuable and like for me all of them and i think this is this might be an issue that you have too because we're like we're like clowns you know like we were (laughs) sent here to be clowns like since i was a baby like the first thing i ever did i had a bit when i was a baby when i was like before i was one years old i had a bit oh it's funny face that's funny face my classic my one my one that's my funny face I had a bit when I was a baby. My This is my job. I've been doing it. But I think because to say, and I think a lot of performers have that issue. They're like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? It's like, you're doing your job. I'm sorry. There are people whose job it is to do what they're doing, to do the, the, the other stuff that we think is like, you know, doctors have jobs. Like, I'm not a doctor. You know, like, like there's like, and we do like everybody deserves grace for what their job is and we also deserve grace to like be able to do it whatever it is because it's really hard to figure what it is out i'm still trying to figure what it is out i don't know and you know you brought up a thing that like helped me remember a thing i'd been saying for a while that really grounded uh everything which is like we've gotten to a point where it's like oh i've been at this thought point and had to back off yeah from yeah, yeah. and it was basically what we're asking is like what's our purpose you know and and what i'm realizing is that <laughs> one there isn't any one purpose no yeah, no, right. no 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 yeah then, good luck and then, <laughs> two, yeah. and then two slow it down um to what i said and this honestly came to me when i was like like off an, uh, on another fucking planet yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was we have a purpose of a moment and what is your purpose of a moment and it's so micro and slowed down instead of looking at it like big it's like you're right i have to pee right now 
I actually do. To pee. I actually do okay. have to pee. Do we want to? Okay. Bye. All right. So Got the purpose us. of this okay, movie everybody. is to go pee. Carly's gonna I'm pee. gonna pee. Nobody fucking panic. Nobody panic. I'm gonna go pee. And then we should come back and do the pep talks. Yes, we have pep talks, you guys. And any questions or whatever you want to do, whatever you want to ask or get a pep talk. Um, just feeling it out, you know? And uh, in this current moment, you can either just keep uh, talking and see what comes or if anyone has any questions. I don't know um, this awesome group of people. Carly has told me that she loves you guys and that's what i know that's what i know also there's a delay there is a delay on here uh that uh, please forgive me for uh let's see um i finally got it back into meditating okay and by that i mean I did it really well for one week. Then I then I did it like almost every day the next week. Then then I didn't for like almost for almost a week and then I did it like three times this week. Uh which is more than I've done in like the past 6 months. And the fun thing about that is for the past 6 months I really had a tough time of um Feeling grounded, like I had, I had gotten off uh, meds, and I felt amazing. Like I'd been weaned off with medical care. I had spent a year healing, and I thought I was fixed. And I got to get off meds uh, in January, and then I was just like in this beautiful flow. Things were happening, and in my opinion, in like divine ways, I felt guided. I felt all these things, and I, I still do. But then it hit. Uh, honestly, since. May on to this point, I started losing it. Like I, I've been in a situation where I'm kind of caregiving in a couple different directions and um, I was so depleted and I didn't see an out. I didn't know how it could end. And throughout the whole thing, hello, Carly. Uh, I'm back. I can hear, I could hear you the whole time. Hilarious. No, you're and not too deep. deep. You're not too deep. We're talking about meditation. It happened. This is Jess, yeah. everybody. <laughs> One of my best can't friends. Can't stop myself. I can't stop. Um, no, I understand. I understand uh, that, like, but re you said, okay, so then, and then you're like, oh my God, I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm so deep. And now yeah, I need to get the fuck out of there. I need to get the fuck out of here. And I lost the riff, which I've talked yeah. to Carly about a couple times. We don't need to dig into, at least at this current moment, uh, where I just was like, oh my gosh, I need to get on meds again because I'm now feeling the things I felt before, except the last time I felt free, this time it feels very scary and mm. dark and not good. Got back on meds, then went into a very deep depression over that feeling like a failure, feeling like it was interrupting some spiritual connection and blah, blah, blah. Oh, I've now that's... embraced. Oh. Okay, yeah, yes. All of, it. And and now... all of this was to say, all of this was to say, and I swear to fuck, I'll get off of this. I swear Here. to fuck! <laughs> Is, uh... The entire time, every single person I sought counsel from, every single person, from therapist to uh, friends, uh, Carly being one, said, you need to meditate. And I didn't. I finally have, like, for the last month, been implementing it's it. It's fucking feel impossible. Better. It's fucking impossible to meditate, dude. It it's is so hard. It's so hard, but I'm trying to. I am also trying. When I was talking to my friend Mars the other day, and uh, they said, because uh, I said, I was like, dude, why is it and and or you both i can't remember i've said this one before but the like why is it when i stretch i feel immediately better it was us like, it was I us have, yes i have instant gratification when i stretch yet i don't do it which is odd because as humans we love we chase instant gratification stretching gives me instant gratification why do i put it off same concept with meditating i feel instantly better and uh, Mars brought up an interesting point of being like, uh, I think it's potentially you avoiding letting go of the thing you're not ready to let go of. Fuck. Facing certain music Fuck. that you're not ready to Who play. is this? We need to have uh, them on too. We need them on the show. We need Mars on the show. I'm surrounded, man. Oh my God, dude. That's a blessing. I want um, to talk to me. 
Carly has also recommended meditation yeah, to me that, as that was well. Time, I definitely want to try oh. for sure. There you go. You're the best. Accepting I had to take meds was difficult for me, and it took eight different ones. That is that is a journey, Random Core. I'm glad that you – I hope you feel settled with, with the ones that you're on now. They give you that page where they ask you if mental illness runs in your family, and there is no way I could fit it in one line. It would have been easier to say who isn't. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. I, and I'm the first, by the way, in my family tree. And now, now once I've come out about it, I find out, no, I'm not the first, but. Never. How? At least I thought I was the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the trailblazer. That's, there's the trailblazer for you. Barf. 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 I take a buttery, I take a nail for anyone who's conflicted and on this spiritual journey, I will say this. And then, and then I swear, do fuck. Okay, <laughs> I swear to um, fuck. <laughs> um and i would never lie on that no but uh okay I finally come to the conclusion that it's like i am not in a place personally in my own life where i am able to embrace love and let every emotion mm-hmm. flow i do go into crisis sometimes and i do uh become so unearthed I'm accepting the tools that medicine provides, which it doesn't make the struggles that I go through better. It doesn't like turn off difficulty from Mm. life. It just keeps my thoughts from flying until I keep embodying the tools that I'm learning and practicing now until I'm actually nailing it and I can try to let them go. But so, and, and then I've had spiritual experiences the second I embraced it. It was my resistance that was blocking me and my belief that it would be blocking me that was blocking me and that's my opinion as of right that now is, I have no idea if that's that is beneficial that. that brings comfort to me actually thank you for always right. bringing comfort to me you as well dude you're my oh you are my quick fix trip to the doctor oh, i gotta go i gotta get on the phone hello <laughs> we gotta talk okay okay Let's so talk. We had our long talk. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's what me and Jess do. We get on. We talk about the universe and everything. That's what this show. That's what I want the show to be. And we'll have. We'll have. This is the first one. So I wanted to riff. And if and if like we come up with a specific thing that we want to talk about, if we have, if we're reading something, if we're following someone, um, I want to share that stuff too. Um, but mainly, uh, it'll it's me and Jess talking about the things that we're dealing with. Um, because we love chatting about it and we have a really good back and forth and I like it. And I want to talk, I want to talk to you guys makes- about your stuff too. I want to talk about all this stuff. Cause there's no, like when I'm on my stream, well, we can do it on my stream too, but like on my, sh- I, it's cool to have a show where we do it. So that's us talking about the universe and everything. This is just, just hopefully it's like, it helps others see themselves in these instances yes. too, because every time I hear someone share vulnerably I see myself and feel less alone and to actually yes. show what it looks like versus the just like uh this will come out tomorrow it feels what I want it to feel like and you're explaining this and I'm getting the vision of I want it to feel like 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 just kind of a little bit of a you take a break and you you've been running or something whatever and you're just like okay just catch my breath a little bit get centered a little bit get right a little bit and then you go back in because we go back in but i wanted it to feel like uh, the breath out group yeah and to like and to like bolster you up a little i always feel very bolstered when me and joss have a conversation like i always feel like very like (laughs) let's go so now i'm like i hope i hope you guys feel that way too if you don't at least my church i'm gonna pretend that you do um no uh so then <laughs> what we wanted to do what we wanted to do was also do pep talks um and these are just fun we don't have we're not gonna like get into your shit but if you want uh, we might i don't we say might, that i don't, we might I don't, say I don't she's I don't like i'm not gonna that. be nosy and she's like we're getting nosy um so if anybody has something they want to pep talk about uh any it could be anything but we were gonna, we're, you could say something. It can even be a hypothetical. Or if you are trying to give a pep talk to somebody, you feel like somebody you know is really hopeless, you describe a situation or you describe a concept that you would like a pep talk about. Will you give a pep talk? It's so funny because I genuinely wanted, I had this like, you know how you have like daydream fantasies at times where you're yeah. just like, you get lost in a scenario. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Me? One of which, very embarrassing to admit, was that I was like, I can audition for America's Got Talent for giving an inspirational speech. Like, and being like, come on, I'll leave the truth. So the you thing know, like, about that is that there are people whose job it is to do that. Although they're usually like people who have like, although you, I think you could be an inspirational speaker, honestly. We're, we're tallying it up. This is the start of the, of the journey to inspirational speaker. You don't know that it's happening, by Watch. the way. Test us. Test us. Test us. No. And then I was thinking too, like if nobody has anything that they want to pep talk about, we can give, we can do some generic pep talks too, if we want. Um, what's a generic, what's, so what's, what's something that, what is something that people, everybody deals with? What are you dealing with, Carly? Self-healing. A pep talk on self-healing? So for self-healing. That's what the comment was, by the way. Oh, what is something that, yes, how to, how to. Well, and I think the thing that is both daunting and the thing that is both um, great is that when you're healing, you're the one doing it, right? So, like, it's daunting that it, you're responsible for your healing. It's daunting that, like, oh, I got to watch these things and do these things. But it's also, like, I think everybody's doing it. I think people people might not be focusing on it. And people might take breaks. And a lot of it is learning how to just chill out and, like, like surrender and stuff like that. But I think, like, it's hard for everybody who's doing it. And there, and I know, like, and there's people who are like, it's not hard for me. Like, what? yeah, and that's cool. Liars. Sick. Liars. Well, and it, <laughs> and it just, and I think, and the thing that I think is true and the thing that i that that brings me peace at least with healing is that like is that like things don't get easier you just get better at dealing with them so it's worth it it's worth it even just to get better at dealing with all the shit that we gotta fucking deal with because we do have to fucking deal with all the shit and you're not and you're not alone you're not alone uh yeah. which is cliche but like we're i'm here with all of you everyone here on earth Yes. Apps. Um, yeah, I feel that if it was, um, for me, if I'm hearing somebody who's like either daunted or curious or even on the self healing journey, I would just like, a really, really say that you're on it. You're on it. You're on it. Whether Welcome. you're actively <laughs> trying to, you're acting, you're on it, whether you're avoiding it, like it is happening. And there is no way for you to go backwards. There is literally no way for you to go backwards. You can only observe it through a richer life experience, life, life experience lens and perspective. And everything that's happening is expanding. Even if you don't feel like you're going forward, you may be moving out, you know, and like broadening. And uh, a thing that even Carly helped me with a long time ago is remembering that you, you that it's an upward spiral so things repeat you'll see yourself you'll see instances yeah. uh, again which can discourage you which you go especially uh, for me when i hit like bits of depression i go this is actually the truth this is what i've been running from and this is what i feel like this is what i'll always feel like and everything else is convincing me that i can make it better and i can't whatever and it, if you observe it you realize that it's actually not the same and it's from a higher perspective and i just lied this one was mars again this one was mars advice where they said if, if you're from a higher you're going up and if it feels further away it's because you're actually looking at it from a higher perspective and you're digging deeper than you've ever been able to so it is just gradual yeah it is slow be patient and you can't help it you're on it too late you're on it welcome <laughs> Uh, Random course says uh, suggesting different tools and methods people haven't thought. So the reason I'm not I'm not going to do that. We can always share that in chat. By the way, if you like, that's really helpful. Random core and I've also for like reprogramming smells are huge. Reprogramming your programs and things like that. I'm not I'm not a practitioner tactically. Um, so I'm not going to suggest things unless somebody like explicitly asks me, or else I'm sure, or or if I'm sharing. Um, something that I actually do do, I would, de I'll definitely share what I actually do. Um, but I probably won't, I'm, I'm not in a position to suggest things to people 
But I, but I do love to tell you that it's going to be okay. In as many, in as many words, in as many words as I can muster. It is going to be okay. And I know, and that's like a loaded thing to say. And that also like doesn't help, uh, that doesn't always help when you're in crisis, you know, somebody saying like, it's okay. Sometimes I'm like sobbing, crying on my bed and I'm like, I'm like, it's like my higher self being like, it's going to be okay. And then I get mad because I'm like, yeah, shut up, I'm upset. And it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. You're upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's all happening, you know, it's all happening for you, which is uh, so annoying. Yeah. It's so annoying to think about it like that, it's, it, where, where you're at. And it's, and I get, and also like, it depends on where you're at, you know? Sometimes you can hear, you can hear, it's only temporary. On, that's the theme, Random Core. Telling, like, I also tell myself that it's only temporary. Like, this, I only, I'm only going to feel like this for as long as I need to feel like this. And then I'll feel it, and then I'll, something else will happen. And then it'll be better. Or it'll be, it'll be something. This will, this One. too shall pass. It's also, like, I think the real ultimate goal and the journey that you're on, once you once you take an active participation and kind of decide for yourself that this is what you want to work on, it seems like you do, it seems like you are, um, is not to even, like, uh, just love every emotion, even your grief, even your suffering, even your uh, whatever, because it's, an, it's a gift to be able to feel. And that, I think, is the... I think that's the thing to that encourages me is that yes there is like the this plane of self-healing that we all deserve to get to but even more than that we have enlightenment look to look forward to if we so choose we have like mm. total bliss and freedom to look forward to Nirvana. If, we so if we can detach but first to get there is we have to brace see love forgive all those emotions that are keeping us so attached to those things before we can transcend them. So don't rush the process, but just be curious, keep your curiosity about all of it and um, just investigate instead of shaming it and saying, this is a wrong emotion. Oh I yeah. 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 I am. Oh my gosh, girl. I just wrote a poem about silent tears and it's a love letter to sadness. What a gift. It's so hard to remember. And I'm like, I'll usually when I'm in the middle of like really fucking just, I'm like, well, I know I I'll think I'll feel some clarity after this. I will, because that's what it that's what it gets down to. Yeah. Well, my friend, is there anything you want to pep talk on? Uh, can we pep talk jobs? Can we pep talk work? Like, I want it to be real. It is real. That's my that's okay, my that's go. my biggest problem is jobs and oh, work. Okay. Jobs and work. Okay, Jobs and work. Please, a little more specific. Like, what? What do you exactly? Please, come on now. Well, I have so I have this. Uh, <laughs> I'm very resentful that we have to work. Uh, very oh. upset that we did this. So upset at the humanity that we did this this way. Uh, upset. Upset about you know the cost of living. Upset about. how how difficult everything has to be all the time how even just doing like basic shit is like doing homework everything we do is homework everything in order to in order and in order for like in order for you to be okay like even like in the future you have to do so like it's all it's so much work it's just it's like feels like it's like but and then like for what for to only work and it uh, bothers me. You also are wanting a job. Yes. Girl, well, you're, you're, I want. You're... Yeah, I want something else. And what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Which we've kind of talked about, but I wanted to see if it was like okay. Because I don't even, and that's me like being like, I don't even know. Like that's like be I like I don't want to tell you something I want and then get a thing and then that's not actually what I want. So, okay. Uh, love this. All right, so here we go. First of all, I'm going to be too specific, anyone else watching, because I know too much about uh, Carly and everything. Uh, or I may, I may not be. I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm arming, the, arming the arsenal of uh, 
So, but ultimately, one, very importantly, you have said to me, and this is where the specific I was mentioning, you have said to me on several occasions, ugh, I'm tired of it. I know if I manifest stuff, something, I get it. What's holding you back from manifesting the thing that you want? A, you probably don't know what you want because of this frustrating system. So don't put that pressure on yourself. And remember to just think about the essence of what you want. Yes. And then, and then focus. Don't even focus anything. Just try to think of it and take it slow. And when that picture comes in a little clear for you, you want to be in an environment, I'd imagine, I know, uh, that you get to uh, collaborate honestly. You get yeah. to conflict res- resolve and be safe and seen and there's a patience fair wages fair work schedules fair like like that that utilizes all of your abilities which are highly creative highly expressive you have abilities in so many different realms just try to like think about those yeah and capture just their essence and really trust and then believe that you're worthy of receiving such a thing and just know that you already are being led to exactly where you are, even if it's staying at this job, even if it is, because clearly you're staying because you're not actually ready to go. If you were actually ready to go, you'd go. Yeah. yeah. But you're hanging on for some reason and you will be shown over and over again, but as a gift, not as like a you idiot, as a gift. <laughs> This is not for you and this yeah, is, yeah. and you and you will see it when you see it because then that will be the time when everything lines up actually. You also it's very scary because we preach, we trust the universe will provide. We have all these things <laughs> and like uh so so can you let go with no prospect in advance? Maybe that's not something you're secure enough or safe enough to do at this moment. But ultimately, that's probably the goal because getting wrapped up, where your focus goes, so does the yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah, where, where, you where your focus play. goes, energy flows. There was. It was beautiful. Thank you for remembering. Uh, it's fucked up. It's not fair. We're enslaved. We shouldn't have to do that. What do you want to do? What do you deserve to be paid for? What do you deserve you know to what? have And an I know what my block you? is. I know what my block is. And I hate it. <laughs> my block is that I don't believe my job exists. I believe I have to make my own job and I'm fucking mad about it. I don't believe Why? the job. I don't believe that the job that I actually want to do exists right now. I don't think anybody does it. Great. So let's go. No, let's that's not my way. What? How? What? <laughs> How? Just start thinking about what you want. You're right. And then You're right. take it step by step. And remember that one, you're fine. You, all your needs are met. Enough is a feast. You have enough. And if anything is actually bad enough or things that are really out of alignment, you will course correct. So yes. trust yourself. Yeah. For you are worthy. And if you are scared, success is scary, you know? And so there's real room for self-sabotage and all that stuff. But listen, if there's anyone I know in this world who's got this, it's you and you've got this, but you'll get it in your time right yes, now, yeah. today, in this exact moment. Oh, no, here we go. Uh Uh-oh, Lao Tzu quote. If you're anxious, you're living in the future. If you're depressed, you're living in the past. If you're at peace, you're living in the present. At present, you are good. You are sitting here with cool equipment that you brought to yourself and up to your game because you (laughs) wanted to invest there and in this world, and you've done it. You are hanging out with a pretty dope friend that you met a million years ago now, and we now know that it was by no accident. What an amazing day we're having. We are having and a really, really good day. But yeah, you got this. So I don't know if that's me saying, don't worry about it. And and like with a lot it's of words. Not, but no. like, <laughs> it's like, you got, you're going to be okay. Uh, oh, there's your pep see, talk. See, there's a know. fucking pep talk. That's a fucking pep talk. Oh my gosh, can work with me, girl. Yeah, maybe random core. We'll talk. Random core. We'll but talk. Your, what's your... Start dropping your Venmo. No, I don't know. <laughs> Pay me. No. Uh, showing value to people is important. If you see value in the job, you can think of something someone else will too, I think. I think you're right. I think I got to start thinking about my job. Because I think I avoid it because I think it has to be something And else. instead of looking at it as a job, again, I had a, a coach who really helped me, which, by the way, anyone on this uh, – with where you're resonating it really helps to process triggers with a coach if you're doing it alone it's really really difficult um but this coach told me that money is an energy exchange yeah your energy is worth doing something in return 
And uh, what, so instead of looking at it as a job, what is it you can't help but do that is a value because it's unique and not everyone can do it with such passion and knowledge and force, you know? And there's, a, I can think of a hundred things, you know? So it's like, yeah, yeah. just literally make it broad, yeah. make it broad. You don't have to narrow it down because you're not a non, you're not a specific manifester according to human design. <laughs> Oh, according to human design, you're right. I'm not a specific. I'm specific. Thank God for you, because I always forget that I'm not because they're, you know, the the people are like, write it down. And I'm like, yeah, I could write it down. But what I'd really like oh, to I do, got the diary. I got what the I'd really like to do is just fucking hang out about yeah. it. Um, you're amazing. Yeah. Do you have a pep talk? Do you have something? You know, I really I don't know just probably even a dumb where one I'm at right now where i'm at right now and where i'm really struggling is um i'm trying to say no and 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 but but now i'm at a place where i'm i'm going am i saying no just to say no or am i actually okay doing this am i being taken advantage of or am i giving too much am i should i be drawing a boundary here and actually am i going where i'm supposed to be called trusting i don't know so i don't know what where how to uh cleanly summarize that but ultimately i'm trying to face my codependency issues and i'm going all off the rails all off the rails in a good way or a bad way I don't know. And, okay. And oh, you're just thing. going I'm all off. You're just like, you're diving I'm in. Like, okay, this is my position. I'm in yeah. a situation. It was very difficult and very, okay. And I hear my cousin in the room. I can speak freely. It was, it's, it's all over. It's a it's lot all of over the place. a lot of things for me and I keep giving it. So is the lesson, again, it doesn't need to be like cleanly this or that. However, my brain, the lesson I need to get out of here to make it stop or is it accept where I'm at? and accept whatever lessons are here for me, which I can assure you they are a plenty. Yeah, that sounds, I mean, Sorry. that sounds, no, that sounds right. And what it is too, is that like the reprogramming, the reprogramming just, it takes a long time and it takes, and it, and it's not about like, and they're going to, and like, there's like discipline and it's like, yeah. And you learn the discipline. You either learn the discipline for whatever you're doing or you don't, but you do learn it eventually. Like the same thing with like meditation. It's like, eventually, if I keep trying, I'll learn it. Eventually you keep going. And I think the thing, and this might, <laughs> this is a little less, uh, it's a little less of my sparkle of like, and then you everything and we can trust the universe and we can trust all that. But like, there's no turning around. You can't go back to sleep. And you can take as much time as you need. And like what you say, it's in your own time. And it's always going to be in right. And it is the right time. I also am like, I'm not doing it enough. I'm not doing it on the right time. I'm not doing it. It's like you are actually doing it in the exact time that you're meant to do it. And that sucks because you get to see everybody else doing whatever they're doing and thinking you know. And then we think we know what other people's time feels like at all. Because there's people who are so far ahead who think they're late. And there's people who are so far behind who think they're ahead. It doesn't literally not my like I only perceive my time. You only perceive your time. And everything you're doing is in the right time. And I feel like, and I'm just like, when you were like, I want to be, I want to be, want to be a motivational speaker. And I'm like, well, that's it. She's going to be a motivational speaker. Like, I'm sitting here, <laughs> like, I'm sitting here, like, I'm, I have front row seats to, like, you, you building your curriculum, which you can only do by doing it. And I, I remember yeah. us ha both having that conversation where we were like, I know what we're doing, but now I got to go do it. And it's like, yeah, sorry. Like, it's like, I wish I didn't know. Like, I wish I was doing it blind. So I wasn't like, I know that this is giving me lessons, la, 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 little fucking Yodas uh -huh. going into the swamp. Like, it's like, what did I, I think about this thing. I said this to you, but I think about it all the time. And it's like, Yoda doesn't sit in the swamp like, I'm Yoda. Like, he doesn't sit in the swamp like, ha, 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 yeah. Yoda. That's not how it works. That's not how you get wherever you're going. You don't sit there and be like, I know that I'm here. It's like, you're here because time is flat, but you're going. 
And it's really, it's really there for you. It's the lessons are there for you and you get to do them as many times as you need to, which actually it's cool. It's just stressful because the world is stressful. The systems are stress, like the other people, like it's just, that's stress on our system. And I think we would both benefit from, uh, let me say this, I hope we do it. I think we both benefit from beefing our like practices up. Because we have tools, yeah, it's a, which it's is like, fact. we're so lucky. We're so lucky that we have tools. Like, I know. Like, because I was doing this same stuff forever with no tools. And I was just like, ah! and now I have some. <laughs> and you, and then we, and then there's endless tools. Like the cool thing about, we don't have dogmas. We're not initiated in anything. Like we don't have to like. Like, none of that, that's great. Like, if you have, people have paths and they're initiated, no, like, that's it. But shit. we're not beholden to any path. Like, we can literally do, like, we can we can dip into any kind of tools. We can listen to any person who resonates with us. And we and then we can be like, wow. And, like, we're so lucky that we get to do that. And you're, when I, when I look at you, I'm like, oh, wow, she's really gearing up for some of the coolest shit. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, oh wow, this is awesome. Make your face when you hear the nicest thing you've ever heard. Like, like how, how do you make your face? I'm just like, yeah, I'm there you go. Text. That's the face. That's the face. You can even do like a little. Ah, ah. That's what I feel like every time I, every time we talk, every time you tell me all your, all the shit, and I'm like, you're really gearing up for some of the coolest shit. And it's just, and I think, and I have to remember this, but I'm gonna say it, and then so I remember it. It's just going to happen. Be- you keep doing and going to where towards where you're called, and then the th- all of a sudden you're in it. And you're like, oh, shit. I didn't doing the thing. The- oh, my God. Oh, I love you. And was just made to remember a thing that you and I discussed when we were talking about uh, doing the show that I think we both forgot, which is the thing that's important when giving a pet talk, the fun truth about them is it's always something we need to hear too. So it's like, hope you heard those words because fucking right, yes, true and absolutely true about you. And I needed to hear it. Also, the words about same. The talk yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's that also thing same. That's so beautiful. All, it's all a student teacher at the same time. And I love you, man. And I agree. I feel the same, same freaking way every time I'm just like, we just pep talk each other we just pep talk each other sorry you guys slept on this you You slept on the pep talks there was only room for two and me and jess did them for each other (laughs) yes no but genuinely the next we're having another show uh, in a month so the way that yeah so the way that we're doing it right now but we might have to change it because your schedule so we'll talk about your schedule (laughs) it's in like february Oh, okay. So we have like two months. So we're doing it the first Sunday of every month is what is what we have it on right now. Um, is, this is the second Sunday, is it not? No, it's the first Sunday. Six was the first Sunday. Oh, shit. Well, what did I put it as? <laughs> oh, no. But moving forward, we're doing the first Sunday of every month. Man. Oh, and you know what? Wait. And then do we have another one on? So then Sunday. And then when did I schedule it? So we can do. Oh, and then the next one is January 1st. So basically the first or second Sunday of every month, we'll say. But we'll, I, I'll post about it. Jess has graphics. Um, do you want to share any of your um, social media? Um. We might have yeah, to, sure, I have to, sure. I should probably I'll ask. My, it's yeah. all, it's all at Jess DeBacco, um, really wherever, um, uh, tried to chat. This is my first time. There you are. Time. Jess DeBacco. Hey. That's my Jess DeBacco. Um, yeah. So it's basically at Jess DeBacco anywhere. Uh, my TikTok, I, I, I'll just tell you, I'm feeling stuff out. I, I don't have her online. <laughs> I love uh, you. Uh, 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 and that's basically where I'm at though, is Instagram. Yeah. Not but you can find her in your heart. Anytime you ever want. Anytime you want. You just reach in. There's a little, there's Jess. Um, and this I'm like, and I'm C2. That's my, that's my, I do stream. I stream on Twitch. 
Um, most of the people who are here already know that. And then if you don't know that, you can follow me there. Um, but that's where I mainly do it. This is delightful. I can't wait to do it again. We're going to be back next month doing stuff. And in that time, in that time, in the, in the month, uh, in preparation, if yeah. anyone wants to come again, this is the thing. Both of us are so intensely trying to be on this healing journey, the spiritual journey, and ask questions of ourselves. So if in that time you have anything that you genuinely want to ask or have not felt uh, alone on. Um, this can be a process of opening up. You come, keep coming, visit at us. And yeah, then come, one day come. you'll, fun, you you'll feel comfortable and we got you. We got you for whatever. Aww. Jess has you always been my there. ultimate pep talker. And now Carly is too. Thanks, you too. This was fun. Maybe I'm so glad you were here. Our first show. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yes. And I'm going to, um, I think I'm, I have to redo, I want to redo the graphics so that you have a more permanent uh, name on it so that it looks like. What? Because your name, because it's always like tag, tag Jess. It'll be fine. We'll talk about it. Great. Ah. Love you. Thank you all. Bye, everybody. Mwah. Oh, wait, I got to end it. Okay. Mwah. Is it just us?